Hello, this is Daniel at PCC. In this video, we're going to learn how to send broadcast messages to patients and families. To begin, talk to PCC. Broadcast messaging is an optional service, so it needs to be turned on before it can be used, and PCC support can answer any questions you may have. You'll also need to use user administration to set up a role and specifically grant permission to a PCC EHR user at your practice to access broadcast messaging. When you're ready to send a message, begin by opening the report library. Find and open the Broadcast Messaging Patient List Report. You'll find it in the Patient Recall category. Any report based on patient data can be used to send a broadcast message. So you can build a custom report or use any other report in this category. But we built this one with some criteria you'll probably find useful right away. I'll open this report and adjust some criteria. You can create a patient list based on a wide range of options. The broadcast messaging report includes visit date, deceased status, include or exclude by patient flag, age, and appointment details. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to say I only want patients seen in the last three years with an appointment for tomorrow. I'll click Generate to build the list of matching patients. Here's my results. I can glance down here at the bottom of the list to see that it's nine patients. Now I want to review this list carefully. With a broader criteria selected, this list could be hundreds or thousands of patients long. I'm about to send them all text messages or emails, so I want to be sure I have the right patients. If this list isn't right, I can click the back button in the lower right corner, adjust my criteria, and try again. Let's say that I'm sure these are the nine patients I want, and I'm ready to send them all an email or text message. I'll click Export in the lower right corner. I'll select Send Message to Patients, and from this drop-down menu, I can select Text Message, Email, or Both. I'll choose Both. These accounts may receive both a text and an email, but since this is such an important message, I don't mind. Make sure you read these explanations above the message fields. Broadcast messages are sent to all email addresses or cell phone numbers associated with the home account of each patient in the report results. If the account has multiple cell numbers, each will receive the message. If the patient has a preferred contact method of a cell phone or email, the messages will go there too. Broadcast messaging is a megaphone. I'm going to carefully compose my subject and message. Text messages are limited to 160 characters, so I'll need to pay attention to this character count in the corner. If I only choose email, then there's no limit. I'll give it a clear, direct subject, and I'll type a short, direct message and include practice contact information. My message is done, but remember, I'm sending this message to potentially thousands of emails and phone numbers. Am I really ready? Is the message correct? Take a moment now to double check. If it all looks good, click Send. This confirmation window gives you one last chance to review your message and list the number of texts and emails that will be sent. As you can see, it's more than just the total number of patients from the report. Each cell phone and every email address will receive this message. And what will my families and patients see? They'll either get an email from a no reply email address and or a SMS text message from a number in your practice's area code. Thank you for watching. Please get in touch with PCC support to get started.